we have another little vlog um it's actually about holiday sunday so you're getting a dedicated vlog to this day because we're actually off to the riverboat afternoon cruise afternoon tea cruise you know the one i got mum i think it was for mother's day or her birthday one of them um i don't know if you would have already seen the bank holiday vlog or whether this is going up first but my head is pounding today guys okay i have actually just fallen asleep for an hour <laughs> yeah oh and i micro did my face and sliced myself so that was great um i'm waiting for a parcel we was going to be leaving a lot earlier and then i had an email to say oh your parcel's coming between this time and such and i was like i've got enough time if we hang around for it but i don't know what to do with my outfit i've got two potentials mum is going for a dress vibe i do have a dress vibe but i also have a trouser suit vibe which i've only ever worn this trouser suit once sorry that i'm keep rubbing my head when i get a headache i feel like my skull's deformed and this bit feels like it's raised like there's a big bump so sorry that i keep <laughs> running my hands along there I, i'm not being strange i promise but uh yes i just need to find the virgin experience days like the little voucher thing i've got the qr code and then i need to start getting ready but i feel like i'm gonna go with the trouser suit just because it's warm but it's still yet a bit chilly out there so i think with this at least i get to have a jacket on and i'm just gonna pair it with black because it's mother nature she's arrived so i just wanted something dark to be honest like dark like my soul and i think a black trouser suit but it's my polka dot one i think i'm trying to remember when i wore this i feel like i wore this when me and mum went afternoon tea years and years ago actually i should probably still check that it fits <laughs> that's another thing maybe i should check that it fits but yes i want to start getting ready now i've already had a bath and all that this morning we've been tesco's and everything as i say you'll see that in bank holiday but yeah this is going to be the little afternoon tea boat cruise um we've got to be there for court past three so i'm like okay we'll see i'm sorry guys i really feel like my skull's misshapen today like i've got a big lump here and i don't know why the joys of bank holiday eh? but yes i'm gonna start getting ready so let's have a little get ready with me because i've actually changed some of my makeup products i say some one but we can have a little chit chat and get ready and wait for the pass away right i'm gonna go you can see i've got my top on i'm gonna go with the trouser suit vibe the dress is lovely but i think i might wear that tomorrow when me and dan were going out for like golf uh, not golf darts pool brunch everything like that i just realized i should probably have actually put you the other side no i need to spin myself around to you don't i let me just rearrange myself so then i'm looking at you most of the time i actually can't see anything in the mirror once i take my glasses off so disney mirror to hand the main thing that's different at the minute guys i've taken the paracetamol because as i say my head is banging and i've just realized i've not only just cut my cheek i've also cut around my nose here when i was doing my microblading so that's great <laughs> just gonna have to live life and hope that it doesn't uh, aggravate because i do have a new foundation at the moment that i'm trialing so the other change is my fix plus i've used all of my rose one up so now it's watermelon which i think is perfect for summer actually but you know me normally i just have my rimmel foundation but a lot of you have also said the maybelline stay tint i think it is so um i'm on the hunt for that but what i did do i purchased something that was a little bit spinny you know me i don't spend a lot on foundation but i kept seeing this one advertised everywhere and it's by the brand il maquillage and it's supposed to be canon i know i ain't got my glasses on but il maquillage and it's you have to do a test of like what your pigment is and like everything like that and then they try and give you a custom shade to your face. If you don't like it, I think you have a 60 day back money guarantee. And this little baby is 40 quid. Yeah, I don't do expensive. So this actually is a very big trial for me. And they've poked, poked me. They have not poked me. They've produced me. 
Oh god, guys, this headache is doing my head in. They've produced, I was gonna say they've done me then, they haven't. They've produced me the shade of 020 woke up like this. So this is what they're saying is my shade. Do I think it's my shade? I don't know, I'm still learning with it because the main thing that I find different, I've tried putting it on with a beauty blender and it just does not work. It doesn't seem to sit right. So I'm having to use a brush, which you know me, I haven't used a brush for foundation application for years. So I'm having to use a little foundation brush and oh, that's stinging. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put makeup over it. But, I mean, I'm all here for testing it, guys. Test, test, test. I still put my um, Charlotte Tilbury over the top with my pad. I, that's not a problem. But it's just seeing how this fits on my face, basically. Because I might try going in with my normal beauty blender after, just to dab a little because yeah i'm still getting used to it guys as i say you do get 60 day money back guarantee so we can see but they said it was for a buildable coverage so i'm like okay we'll see how buildable it is can't lie though my face is stinging slightly <laughs> that bit was not a vibe where i am um, cut it so maybe I shouldn't be putting this on but I'll roll a time lapse of me popping this on because you guys have seen me put my face on many a time and then what we'll do we'll see how it wears throughout the day as I say because I've only actually probably used this I say maybe four times before this and I don't like the way it goes on my forehead so I mean, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see. As I say, I'm not really a fan of how already it's sitting on my forehead, but I don't know. Maybe I just got to give it trial and error because I am so pasty wasty white. It's hard to get a foundation that actually does suit my skin tone, and I've never even been able to find one. I think I've always, growing up, had that slight line where you can see it, but I try and like with my powder and squeaky chair I try with my powder to blend it a bit because no one likes the line but sometimes when you're just pasty wasty you can't really do anything <laughs> you just kind of have to work with the skin tone that you have these lights are killing me right now I think once I've done my face I'm actually just going to turn the lights off because I'm feeling like everything's a bit too much right now, guys. Let's put a little bit of highlighter on, shall we? Let's go all out. And I don't know what lip to have. I don't know if I have maybe like partially a red lip. But good old NYX Illuminator. Same as everything. I don't use the full mirror for this because I am blind as a bat. But I know that I like my cheeks glowing. And I haven't changed the makeup routine. Since I was a teenager, guys, I just think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But then, like, I've had my makeup done professionally a few times. And I'm like, oh, God, I'd love to be able to do it like that. But I just can't. What I can do, though, right now, squeaky chair, is turn this light off. Oh, oh that's better, guys. Does anyone else when it's mother nature just get really, really god awful headaches? Like even with my eyes closed now, like I can see like flashing lights and it's just it's horrendous. I'm actually thinking I might even wear a little bit of one of my 
Le Bouton perfumes today. Do you remember the ones I bought for my birthday last year? We went to Harrods, I picked them up, and the only other one that I've actually worn was the tester. Here they are. Who remembers these? Unopened. What one should I wear? They are gorgeous though, aren't they? Like, oh. What one should I wear? Looking at this. What was the one? Le Virage, I think I had the test on. I feel I want to do Luby Kiss because that's the skull. So you know what? We're going to keep them out because if I put them back, I'm not going to um, wear them. So I'm actually going to rearrange that I haven't done my perfume collection in ages guys so I'm just kind of using anything and everything but I'm going to keep them out and then we'll put one on I think I'm going to go for the skull the only thing with oh goodness gracious me caught me a pen in me lap the only thing with these is um they're like a dabber they're not like a spray or anything they're just like a dab dab one so I'm like okay right glue I've still been living out of my um, Revolution makeup bag because normally we're away most weekends, guys, or we're out and about. So I just think, what's the point in keep getting my makeup out? And oh, I've just tripped me now. Great, like getting it away, putting it out, and all of that jazz. I just think, leave it be. So yes, my hand. I don't know what I've done to it. It came up the other day, and I was like, ow. But yes, I'm very excited. I actually still do need to get the Virgin card out. It says that you don't need it. It says you only need your QR code. But that's just for the um, window seating that I've paid for. Like if they turn around to me and say like, well, where's your actual experience? I'd be like, oh God. So um, I'm going to take that just in case. Oh, and I've got glue all on the lash. There we go. Um... Oh, that's going to dry terribly. And funny enough, you'll probably see... I don't know if I'll include it in a reset day vlog or anything, but in a couple of weeks, me and Dan are off on a riverboat cruise, but we've got the dinner one, which I think will be very nice. So, yeah, I think I might include that potentially in a little reset day vlog because I think that'll actually be quite nice to film in a different experience. I don't know if we're staying up there i don't know if we've got anything planned that weekend or whether we're back home that night but who knows eh? who knows i feel like this year is flying by how are we in the birthday month already <laughs> i'm like oh my god the year the year the month that i turn a year older just like oh so i do apologize if i'm looking at you a bit weird but i am kind of blind as a bat guys without me um glasses and I have to be quiet, otherwise I can't concentrate putting them on. Old age in that. <laughs> what do we think? A little bit of mascara on the bottom. And then it's just the lip. I do think I'm going to go for a red lip, you know. Maybe nothing too drastic. I'm not thinking like Ruby Woo Woo. Thinking maybe just like the Clinique one, perhaps. I think I'm going to have to get a different mascara, guys. I feel this one's on its way out now. Oh no. MAC Magic Extension. You have done me well, but you're going to be monthly favourites. I feel like I need... The time has come to get a new one, and I don't know what one this is. I've just grabbed... I don't normally have a lot of mascara on the bottoms anyway, guys, but... need to be able to see it just a tad eh? we'll go with that and then that one get chucked in the bag let's just quickly grab a pair of tweezers and make sure 
everything stuck down nicely. Because there's nothing worse than when you go out and say if it's a tad windy and you just feel it go. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to put my uh, glue in my bag. Good thinking there, Sham. So I am going to sort my lip out, guys. Put my shoes on. I'm actually going to go with loafers today because I want something that's like practical. Put me loafers on and then we will go through and we will have a little whiff of the perfumes and see which one I'm going to go for. I think I know already, but we'll see. But yeah, that is um the new stage and we'll see how the foundation sets throughout the day. So I think I am going to go for the skull one because this is my favourite in the top. This is Luby Kiss. Just look at these. Even when I use these guys, I don't want to get rid of the bottles. Okay, this is heavy. This is weighty, okay? So, I haven't used these in, I can't even remember. This reminds me of what my nan used to have. Mmm. And then, I think pour a bit on there. And then, because it's hard because normally with a spray, you just like spritz, spritz, spritz you can't with these however i am going to take this with me dan will come in and be like something's changed here and i'll be like yep if i put that there then it'll be at the front and then this is going to go in my bag and i've actually let's put the blaze on i've gone for a different bag you know me normally i go for a crossbody bag but i wanted a little dainty bag so this is the outfit and I've got my nude loafers on I just need to flip that around because the lapel doesn't normally sit right on the girls to be honest I'm taking the little bag that I got when I was up Newcastle many many moons ago but I'm going with this one just a little one I've got the ticket and everything in and then yes yeah, so I'm trouser suit vibe mum you ready you ready Mum's gone like dress vibe. Um, I thought I'd go like trousers, so it's just something a bit different for me. Mum's got on her Doc Martens. Oh, Mum's got her jacket on, so she's got. Where's your dress from? Uh, Primark. Mum's got a Primark dress and then Primark tights. Good old Doc Martens. Oh no, no you've got your yeah, Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots with studs. So uh, yeah, everything else will be fine footage. I've got the so bits and bobs. <laughs> got all the bits and bobs. What do you think of the perfume? Oh, that's nice. Which one's that? So I've actually got out because I thought it's been almost a year and I've not even used any of them. One of my little Christian Louboutins. Oh, right. Okay, then. I mean, the money that I paid last year and I've not even used it, so... What was they, 100 No, they was £300. They're what I got at Harrods. No, weren't were they? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, so give I me a bit. I've, I've got opium on. No, no, don't mix it because this no, isn't no, a spray. No, but I've got, I've got the opium that you bought me. Oh, this isn't a spray. every day I use Vera Wang or I have my live looks... Or I have that one, that, uh, the nice one, white linen, or white, mm -hmm. that thing you bought me. So I have a puff. I'm using, I thought I'd yeah, use this. Yeah, and I've get... got my bag that we got from Newcastle. Yeah. That, my little handbag yeah. one. Start using them now, eh? So yes, um, everything now will be fine footage. On the move. Shouldn't be too bad. The weather seems okay, as I say. I'm yeah, glad I've got my not. jacket on for it. Yeah, wear, wear the jacket round, but cover the girls a bit. Nah, you hey, got hey. Hey. I don't know what's in your head.
15 pound. Yeah. Oh, that's not funny. Wait. Wait two. Probably because of the print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. English spinach. Mm -hmm. Fifty pounds. That's vodka. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's not nice today. I've got a little soldier, man. A name. What do you reckon is best? Because I'm going to have the crown. What do you want? Should I get the beef eater? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Just one little bag. <laughs> <laughs> what they <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I have paid for the window seat and we literally got in front of the boat. <laughs> I'm always one step behind Wishing I could read your mind But I'm ready Yeah, never ready I, I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready Like a forbidden
little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, I think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. when we're back but it actually wasn't good guys this not could good. be this could be oh, one of the worst good. memory days we've had and it was just a shambles from the get-go so uh, we're gonna make our way home i just said shannon i feel sorry because she got me from other day but i've had a pounding headache all day which hasn't helped help a little bit but oh, yeah we'll give you a low down when we get home because i mean mum's happy she got a little tower of london bag and a little magnet she'll show you when we're home but yeah i don't know if it was just it a was dodgy crew wasn't it? yeah because when we had it with the lunch crews you couldn't afford it yeah the staffing on this one just wasn't there was no organization at all to put it very bluntly and i almost ended up having a hypo i couldn't stop my hand shaking in your, in your rash, my, i was getting really agitated and i was like what's up your chest i was like i come out in a rash when i like flare up but we need to cross over we need to get the Hammersmith and City, so we've got a crossover at Barking, and then yeah, we'll be home soon, and then we'll give you the load. <laughs> right, so it's actually a few days later. Um, oh god, guys. So let's go with the positive of the trip to London, which is what Mum's got in her hand. She's got a bag of goodies, and it's reversible bag. Yes, and it was a good price for us. Good yeah. price. What 150, was it? Wasn't it? Two pound fifty. What was it? Two fifty. Oh, well, I didn't think oh. that was too bad yeah. for that. So uh, mum got some little bits and bobs. I chucked a fudge in there for mum and Dan because it's a whiskey butter fudge. So <laughs> it's like the brand from the uh, historic royal palaces. I just but got this bag. That was six pound, which I didn't think was too bad because you pay that in farm shops and that. Pardon me, yes. And then mum enjoyed her little bag. And then what magnets did you get in there? I've got the beef eater. I was tempted to get the one with the little hat on, but I thought I'll he's more right cute. And it, oh, how I'm much sure. was he? Four pound. So I've got a beef eater, a little magnet, four pound. Yeah, and this is the piece of resistance. This one? That's so six pound. So it's like a 3D crown. There we go, Canon. 3D crown. Yeah. So in terms of the afternoon tea. Bearing in mind, we've done the lunch cruise. So beautiful. The beautiful. lunch cruise was great. Yeah. Um, we was late to set off for the afternoon tea. The boarding process was just very chaotic. And then we set off and there was no like uniformity with bringing stuff out. No organisation, was there? No. Like people, some people was getting their teas. Some people were getting the drinks. Some people was getting the food. And we'd been boarded for about 45 minutes and we still hadn't had any tea. And it was almost an hour until our tea come out. It was cold. Yeah. It came out with no milk. They didn't bring the bottle of water. And I'll tell you what, guys, I said I had a banging headache. Like, I needed just And you got water. the rash, didn't you? I started getting really agitated yeah. so my chest flares up. Um, We ordered Prosecco and a cocktail, which we cancelled and said... No, nope, like it doesn't take but she bought five it up, minutes. Didn't she? Then they brought it over, and I was like, "No, I would just like the tea to go with the food, please." And the milk. We was told there was no salmon sandwiches, and every table around us had salmon sandwiches, which was the only one that I was really looking yeah, forward to, yeah. to be honest. Um, we then, as I say, some people didn't have drinks, some people had the food and no drinks, and vice versa. And then they said, "Oh, if everyone could settle their bill," and we're like. We, okay. gave, we gave the man the two pound and he said, thank you. I said, no, 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 that's not a tip. That's for the bottle of water. And they was all asking for tips when they left. But mm. we wasn't the only table. There was a lot no. around us that a lady ordered a coffee. They didn't have the coffee. Then she ordered a fruit tea. They didn't have the fruit tea. So she was like, what do you have? Mm. Then she ordered orange juice. They said, we ain't got any what orange juice. What about that lady with the, cut, with the plate? Yeah, a lady didn't have a plate. She had to use like one of the main plates on the thing. And overall, guys, as well, the portion was really small. Yeah, very small. Like, I didn't think that that was a good size afternoon tea for two. Like, no. we got one scone each. Yeah. Even in Harrods, we got two. Yeah. 
Uh, so I just think it might have been. I think the staffing wise on there wasn't the and greatest. And when we went to that one opposite the Buckingham Palace, we had a nice one when we was in the yeah. little city in the window, wasn't it? I think the whole crew. It was just very unorganised. I mean, we could go on a different one. It could be lovely, but from the get go, it wasn't. Yeah, last year beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, and as I say, me and Dan have the dinner crew, so I'm fingers crossed that's actually going from a different. But as pier, I like. said to you, Shannon, if that was twenty pound each, we wouldn't have said anything. It was still a decent price on Virgin, but it's still expensive. For and what then you have you to had. pay fifteen pound extra to get the window seat. Yeah. So they sting you there as well. But what I'm saying is, you bought that for me for Mother's Day. You're it's like thirty five, forty pound each. Then you pay for the window seat, and it's sort of. Took off the thing for a Mother's Day having a good laugh, did not it? So, but are you going to do a thing? I will because they've asked me for my feedback. Yeah, and I oh well, like yeah. It wasn't the greatest. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this could, well, this is up there for, at the moment for the worst memory oh, day God, that we've yeah, had. So yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Even yes. the one where I nearly dropped my purse for yours was a good day, wasn't it? Right. Oh, In the was, check shirt when we went on. long off. before I started Drew Tree. That was when Elvie died. Yeah, that's that when I had the check shirt. And that was just a... Uh, on the boat just sightseeing, wasn't it? That's it. So, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe the down below. Oh. And leave us a comment. What do you think? As I say, probably from the clips I took, it looked all right. But if you was actually in the experience, yeah. it weren't the great. Mind you, the crossing as we was going up was okay, wasn't it? It weren't bumpy, bumpy. We saw a police and we took, boat going yeah. bombing up to there because something had been kicking off. But yeah. take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.